Hello everyone, my name is Angad Singh and today I am going to show the flower dissection of this flower which is called water lily or uh, spider lily. What you will be needing for the flower dissection is um, obviously a flower uh, similar to this one where uh, you have all of them, uh, all of these anther and all very uh, visible and the petals. So uh, along, along with those ovary, this bottom thing. So um, you you need a big flower and you need a sharp thing uh, such as a compass or a needle to dissect it very easy, uh, too easily. And you need a magnifying glass. In this video, I will be telling you and explaining um, you about the petals, the male organs and the female organs. So we will start with the dissection of the petals now um, in this plant in this flower they are very thin petals like you can see they are very thin mostly they are broader the petals are mostly broader so uh, it's okay uh, now how many petals are there there are six petals one two three four five and six there are six petals and so uh, let's take them out one two three four five and six so this is what we are left with and here you go uh, so this one is the petal and all of the petals in the flower together are known as corolla and these petals are the uh, the common part of many many flowers or uh, perhaps all flowers so we'll keep this aside now and we will dig deeper on the male and female organs so we'll first uh, look, look on the male so uh, starting with the filament if you can see this is our flower which was left after the petals right these ones these green green small small um, stem like structures they are the filament the filament connects these top things the anther to the style and this anther contains many many pollens which are the gametophytes and the gametophytes are basically coverings which carry the gametes the gametes in this case are the two nuclei inside the pollens and these two nuclei cause the reproduction so i can i'll just show you how i'll plug them and if you can see You can just see what I've plucked, right? So this one anther and one filament is known as the stamen. And there are many stamens possible in a uh, flower. Like you can see here, there are six stamens, right? Six stamens. So um, all the six stamens together will be called the androsium. Uh, androsium. So, yeah, just uh, showing the anther in the filament. So, this is the anther. And, uh, and, if, you, uh, and if you can just, uh, if you dissect it even further, if you see, you will see many small, small powder-like things. And these are like the pollens. So, yeah. And this one is the filament. Okay, so now we'll just uh, take the male parts away, and now we'll focus on the female parts. The female part, uh, the female parts are uh, comparatively very complex. So um, the the female parts in the flower, in a flower, are basically divided into three features, three parts. One, the stigma, the style, and the ovary. So, we'll first focus on the stigma. As you can see, the stigma is a little broader, right? At the um, top of this, it is a little broader. Now, this is something which is very essential for the reproduction. Why? Because this uh, grabs, uh, this helps in grabbing the pollens very easily. So, for this purpose, it is very feathery, it is very sticky. So, the pollens can easily come, uh, it can, they can easily um stuck uh, they can easily be stuck here 
so as you can see right it is a little broader at the top and uh, you will not be able to see it feathery or sticky but um, it is like that it is very feathery and sticky so this was about the stigma okay so now we are talking about the second uh, feature of female organs which is the style so style connects the stigma and the ovary as you can see in this flower the style is extremely long it is all the way from here to here and it is extremely thin as we can see in the magnifying glass also it is very thin right and very and very long so um what happens in your style what is the uh, importance of style yes it connects the stigma and the ovary but what exactly is it doing it provides a pathway for the pollens which land on the stigma to reach the ovary for reproduction because in the ovary there is the egg cell which fuses with uh, one nuclei and then the reproduction takes place so inside the style the pollens when they fall here they uh, cell division occurs and they and using cell you uh, using cell division only they make tubes or uh, there are two tubes which they make one for the nuclei to fuse with the egg cell and one to fuse uh, with the, the ovules central cell we will talk about this later but it's, it uh, fuses with that so two tubes for this purpose are made and these two tubes are helpful in taking the pollen from here and they reach the, the ovary i will just dissect it now you you need my compass so uh, so with the sharp stick of the compass i will dissect it all and reach here so now as you can see with my compass i have taken out the whole extra thing and this is what i get such a long style right such such long yeah so now we will talk about the last and the most essential part of the female organs which is the ovary now it is the most essential basically because that is where the reproduction takes place now the ovary contains many ovules which are the gametophytes which are the coverings and inside the gametophytes there are the gametes what are the gametes or what are the female gametes they are the egg cells now taking one ovule one ovule has seven cells and eight nuclei they are um, and how are the eight nuclei possible because one cell which is the central cell of the ovule it contains two nuclei it has a polar nuclei so uh, because of this there are in total seven cells and eight nuclei there are other cells also seven cells including the egg cell in each ovule now what happens is that from here uh, for example one pollen comes now as we saw that one pollen contains two nuclei so one nuclei will fuse with the egg cell for reproduction and the other nuclei of the pollen will fuse with the central cell and this provides the uh, energy to the the uh, the fertilization uh, the egg cell and the the nuclei which which fuse it provides energy to them so it can uh, stay it can grow and now um, if the if the if more pollens come than the number of ovules like for example if there are five ovules and four pollens come four pollens means eight nuclei come so it is much more so the other nuclei will die and if there are more ovules than the number of nuclei or uh, from the pollens then fertilization will not take place in the leftover ovules what is most important is that the ovary which is this part it grows into a fruit it becomes a fruit if it is a fruit plant like for example if you have a mango 
then in, in, in the mango uh, in the mango fruit this will become the mango the ovary will become the mango and inside this they are there are the ovules the ovules become the seeds so like for example you have a mango since the ovules are the seeds a mango has one seed therefore it has one ovule so we can say that the number of ovules there are in a ovary those number of seeds there will be so like for example if you consider orange an orange has many many seeds so we can say it has many ovules okay so now a quick recap so uh, this is one petal and all petals together are known as the, are known as the corolla this is called the filament the top is called the anther this is the anther and one hole is called the stamen so this is one stamen all of them or all of the stamens together are known as the androsium so all these are the androsium then in the female one this top one that the top part is a uh, is a stigma this one is it is a stigma this hole is the style and this one is the ovary thank you